Hi, I'm Chef Tina Jo and I'm interrupting today's video to bring you really important information. ChefTinaJo.com and Sunfoods have partnered! Yay! So Sunfoods has been providing the very best in raw food, superfood, and nutritional information since 1995. So what does this all mean to you? Right here, right now, you'll be receiving the very best in raw food, superfood, and amazing recipes. And it's all right here. Very simple. So on today's video, most of the ingredients can be purchased at sunfood.com, but there's so much more there. All right, back to the video. Hi, I'm Chef Tina Jo, and welcome to Real Life Raw. On today's episode, the first thing I want to do is talk about tofu recipes. What's that, you ask? Well, simply put, it's a term that I've coined to indicate the creation of one main recipe that creates two completely different dishes, all by simply swapping out a few choice ingredients. That means less time in the kitchen, more food in your pantry, and more time for real life. So on today's episode, our two for recipe is granola that is flavored with orange, unbelievable, and maki purple bars. They're phenomenal. So I want to talk about our key ingredients, our main recipe, and that includes nuts, oats, and seeds. Now the nuts and seeds you need to soak at least a minimum of four to six hours. The simplest thing to do when creating this recipe is plan ahead. Think, okay, well, today is Tuesday, for instance, and I want to make this on Wednesday. So what you would do is soak your nuts and seeds overnight. I love mason jars. It makes this really simple. Put the amount of ingredient needed into your mason jar, fill the rest up with water, leave it on your counter overnight, and in the morning before going to work or carrying on with your day, you simply drain these in the sink, rinse them off, and put them in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them. These will store in the refrigerator for up to three days. That gives you plenty of time to prepare ahead. So we're going to use our food processor with this and it is loaded with the S blade. That's what you're going to need to create this dish. So the first thing we're going to do is just add our sunflower seeds and I've used two cups of these and two cups of soaked almonds and one cup of pumpkin seeds. And I absolutely love granola any time of year really but especially around fall I love using pumpkin seeds and hazelnuts which is what I'm adding now and that's just one cup and if you don't follow the recipe along don't worry about it it will be available for download so this is the main ingredients what we're gonna do is just put this on pulse you don't want to over process your ingredients because you don't want this to turn into mush you want nice chunky um, granola so we're gonna pulse Perfect. Now if you look at this, I'll pull this off so the camera can get a great shot of this. You can see it's still beautiful, nice, and chunky. Okay, that's how we want it. So we're going to pour this into a bowl. And now we're going to process our oats. And with the oats, what we want to do is just simply break them up. So again, it's just a pulse. So in with this, what I'm going to do is add our salt and some of the key ingredients that will actually make this now, the granola. So this is two teaspoons of Himalayan pink salt that I'm adding. This that I'm adding is a apple spice blend, which I absolutely love, and I want to read this to you. I love blends, and I love them for this reason. One, they're incredibly affordable. If you were to go buy all of these ingredients separately, this particular blend has cinnamon, fenugreek, lemon peel, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg. It's amazing. And so what this does by adding a blend is it really brings all these different notes and flavors to your granola. It's fabulous. So if you haven't tried blends before, give them a go. Again, they're really cost effective. And what's going to make this really super and give it the orange flavor is our orange extract. And this is from Frontier. It's organic, it's fabulous, and I'm using two teaspoons of this. The flavor is unbelievable. If you haven't used an extract before, it's worth a trip to the grocery store because it will bring this granola from ordinary really to extraordinary. So, we're gonna go ahead and blend this out. Again, just a real quick pulse. Don't wanna over process. And that's it. Easy peasy. And now what we're gonna do is add this to our bowl. 
So now we're going to add our sweetener. And what I'm using today is dark agave. Absolutely love dark agave, um, particularly in this. What it does is it, again, it has a certain flavor note. It's fantastic. It's more like a really thick syrup. And we're just going to mix this up. This is a great job if you've got kids because they love getting their hands all nice and sticky. <laughs> I want to dive in. This is really nice. All right. So basically, this amount of product, um, once we blend everything up, is about 15 cups total. And that includes the flaxseed that will go into the purple bars. So you want to actually use about three three cups of granola per sheet. You're going to get two sheets, so what you're extracting from this is actually six cups. Following me? All right. Again, don't worry because this will all be on the recipe. And get this nice and even. And you don't have to worry about making this perfect. This is granola. You're going to spread it out on a dehydration sheet. You can see that I've got the tough luck sheet here, and we're going to just spread it out. And that's all you do. I'm going to do one more of these so that I can simply show you how to make power bars now. Again, just grab your dehydration sheet, got your Teflex sheet here, and adding three cups. Okay, there we go. So, um, with granola, you know, you can add all kinds of different fruits. I like to add dry fruits. You want to actually wait till your um, granola has been processed in the dehydrator and then add your dry fruit. Um, this way it's still, you know, nice and plump and moist or fresh fruit, whichever you choose. So this is going to go into the dehydrator now on 105. Typically takes about 12 hours to get your granola nice and crisp. Really also depends on climate and altitude. We had a hot day here uh, just a few days ago in Baja. The humidity was unbelievable. So this granola actually took about 15 hours. So taste as you go. That's really, really important. So I'm going to go ahead and stash this in. And now... We're going to make those power bars. These are really, really good. So the ingredients are two for recipe for creating these maki purple bars is flaxseed. And I've used two cups of flaxseed, and I've soaked them with one and, a half, one and a half cups of water. Did that overnight. And this is, you can see how thick this is. This is what will actually bind our power bars together. With the granola, our binder is the honey. In goes the maki powder. Look at this beautiful color. I absolutely love this. The antioxidants that are loaded in this powder is really unbelievable. But what it does to the flavor of these bars is sensational. And we're going to go ahead and add some of these golden uh, Huns of raisins, and I want to show you this. This is a great tip. When you're soaking your fruit for dehydration, you want to make sure that you pump it beforehand. And you do that simply by adding water. But you want to add a minimum of water content. If you overflow this with water and you go to drain, you're draining out all the goodness and deliciousness that actually these raisins or goji berries or whatever fruit you're adding hold. So again, minimum water. And you can see, I just used enough to actually cover these. And look at how plump and wonderful these are. These are absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried these yet, give them a go. And look at, I mean, there's like hardly any water in here, and I didn't drain that. So, And here is um, some goji berries that we're adding and bean cherries, my favorite. With the bean cherries, these were really large. Um, a little bit larger than the brand that I used the first time around. So depending on the size, you might want to just rough chop those. We're going to blend this all up now. And you can see, look at the addition of the purple maki. I love what happens to this. And it completely changes the flavor. Again, this goes from granola to these beautiful power bars. And this you want to mix pretty well because you want the flaxseed to get really well incorporated so that it will hold your bars together. Look at this color. Okay, I have to tell you this story. I'm really hooked on this maki powder. It's probably one of my newest addictions. 
The maki powder, little tip, <laughs> when you eat it raw, right from a spoon, it will turn your teeth purple. So if you have kids, they will love it because I was certainly a hit on the block here um, in Baja for about an hour or so. Okay, well, look at this. Look at how absolutely beautiful this is. And when this dehydrates, the color actually enriches. So again, just gonna grab a dehydration sheet and it's loaded with the Teflex. And we're gonna use three cups of this. There you go. Now this may seem like a lot of product to you, um, but again, that's really the point because you wanna spend less time in the kitchen and get more bang for your buck, so to speak. So if this seems to be an abundance for you, you can certainly divide the recipe in half or do what I do. I freeze it, put it in some seal, sealable airtight either bags or glass containers. It freezes up absolutely beautifully. You just want to spread this really thin. Um, or, you know, we're coming into the season of giving. Um, this makes absolutely fabulous gifts and you're only in the kitchen once. So you can see, spread this, you get the idea. And this actually will go from edge to edge. But one of the things that I want to show you real quickly here is once it's gone from edge to edge, you want to take your offset spatula and you, you just want to kind of uh, mark it with the, the back of it, just like this. And again, I'm doing this rather quickly just so that you can kind of see. You want to kind of cut through your meal. And by doing this, it makes it really easy when the bars are done to actually crack them in and get some beautiful bars. All right, so this is kind of rushed, but it gives you an I the idea. In the dehydrator, I want to show you I've got some power bars that are ready to be flipped because you do need to flip these midterm um, and you want to get rid of that Teflon sheet. And I want to show you a real easy way to do that. Okay. So these have been in the dehydrator now for about six hours. And this is a really simple way to flip your product. Here's our bars. What you want to do is take another Teflon sheet, place it on top, simply flip it over, get rid of everything, and now watch and see how simple this is to peel back this sheet. So now these bars are ready to go back into the dehydrator for at least another six hours. They're getting pretty crunchy, but not quite yet. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'll be back in about six hours, and I want to show you the final product. It's amazing. All right, so it's been about 12 hours total, and we're back with our finished product. I have to tell you, this smells unbelievable. But the best thing is the taste is extraordinary. It really is. The use of the orange and the um, apple pie spice really just, you know, bring out the notes and the flavors in this granola. Your family and you will absolutely love this. So with granola, you can certainly use it. It's a fabulous cereal. We here <laughs> at uh, Real Life Raw use this for a daily snack. Honestly, you'll see half the staff walking around with little baggies of this because it's a perfect snack to help keep you raw. Okay, and really simple. Now, yay, the Maki bars. I absolutely love this. Look at how beautiful this color is. It's fabulous. And the addition of the Maki with the orange and again, the apple pie spice, the flavors are unbelievable. You're not going to believe it. I promise you it's gonna knock your socks off. So you've got two completely different recipes. One simple, simple plan, very little time in the kitchen, and a lot of staple foods to kind of help you and keep you raw. So I'm Chef Tina Joe. This is Real Life Raw. Remember, be good to you. Make your life delicious. Bye for now. <laughs>